Well, here's something very interesting and ironic. Uh, it's ironic because the news media would not dare cover it. You know, they're all over January 6th, the insurrection on January 6th. But here's another insurrection by the transgender lobby that they would not touch with a 10-foot pole on CNN or ABC or all those other places. This is on Now the End Begins. Radical pro-transgender and gun control activists storm the Tennessee state capitol. Will we now see an M30 select committee to punish the guilty? Probably not, because it won't be politically correct to punish this crowd. And by the way, I'm not saying I'm a Trump supporter. I'm just saying that it's hypocritical of the media. You know, in the back pocket of the Jesuits and the transgender lobby. But in the article it says, uh, gun control activists were seen storming Tennessee State Capitol Thursday. Oh yeah, a gun control activists storming Capitol. Yeah, this is the reason why there's a, there's the Second Amendment. To protect us, you know, if you're American, from people like that. You know, these gun control activists are precisely the kind of people that the Second Amendment was designed to protect the American people from. I'll just point that out. But continuing in the article, it says gun control activists were seen storming Tennessee State Capitol Thursday amid rising fears of a left-wing uprising at a Roman protest in Washington, D.C. Things are getting nuttier, crazier, and definitely scarier with each passing day as the radical leftist elements which control America, the White House, and the media inch closer and closer to an all-out violent confrontation on every street corner. I say this with the full knowledge in my mind that it has barely been 72 hours since the transgender with a gun went and shot six Christians. This was posted a few days back. Tomorrow on Prophecy News Podcast. Let me you know, talk some more about that, that. Yeah, you know. See, even though you had the shooting at a Christian school by these by some transgender extremists, the transgender lobby wants to paint themselves as the victim somehow. You know. See, they're always the victims. See, they, they can never be the perpetrators of any kind of persecution whatsoever. That's just kind of the, their mentality. But continuing in the article, it says, Gun, gun control activists storm St uh, Tennessee state capitol in Nashville after trans shaman joined occupation of Kentucky's legislature as fears of a left-wing left uprising loom ahead of trans, J uh, trans Day of Vengeance. From the, the, from the Daily Mail, footage of an insurrection shows progressive protesters battling with cops as they attempted to gain access to the legislature, legislature in Nashville. Hundreds of people were seen inside the lobby yelling from the gallery at concerned lawmakers. The protest against guns comes after transgender shooter Audrey Hill on Monday gunned down as six people, including three nine-year-old kids at a Christian school in Nashville. In a separate gem, uh, demonstration, trans activists yesterday invaded Kentucky State Capitol in Frankfort to protest a, protest a Republican-backed bill to ban transgender procedures for children. Among the mob was a self-described genderqueer clown nun who immediately drew comparisons to the QAnon shaman of the January 6th riot. Uh, what in the world is a genderqueer clown nun? Talk about insanity. It's a bunch of garbage. Continuing on the article, left-wing uh, demonstrations come amid fears of Trans Day of Vengeance, which has been threatened for Washington, D.C. on Saturday. Twitter bosses uh, this week rushed to remove thousands of posts advertising the protest while most condemned the attack, which left three nine-year-olds as many uh, and... Uh, sorry, and as many school staffers dead, several unrelated fringe extremist groups have surfaced claiming the shooting was a consequence for ongoing oppression of trans people in southern, more conservative states. What do you mean a kind of oppression? So their answer is basically to be terrorists. Well, that certainly is going to get people on your side, sure, yeah. So essentially, shooting kids is their now modus operandi. See, they always want to target kids. So at first they want to get their hands on kids, now they want to shoot kids apparently now. That's just the, the uh, way the transgender mental illness lobby operates. I guarantee you this is getting me getting the hate speech truck. I don't care. You know, little goons over at YouTube want to censor speech they don't like. You know, it's funny just how, how authoritarian the transgender lobby is. And it's funny how anything you say can just get them into a freak out. It's a bunch of garbage. It's, it's actually comical just how easily triggered these, these, uh, the transgender lobby is. It's, it's hilarious but you know just they're just showing their true colors showing their violent nature so anyway i wanted to point that out may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with, be with all the brethren goodbye